Sci-Fi Commentary number 343. Oh, we got some South Park in this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man, I've been dying. Of oh, don't tell me that's you. Don't tell me you made yourself in this motherfucker. Oh, God, look at this shit. <clears throat> so, I I'm assuming that's a bite-sized taco. Because th that is quite possibly the most Mexican character you'll ever fucking see in your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, did he make himself in this shit? <laughs> oh man, he he, he needs the, the plaid shirt with the one button on the top, you know what I'm talking about in this bitch? <laughs> oh man, that's some funny shit, man. So anyway, this is part of the whole request that I sent out where I just told people I, I just want new games. Whatever the fuck you guys have out there, just send in the games just because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> That's the reality. It's not like there's anything out there. I think I put requests for some of the popular games. Um, I put the Switch games out there. So for those who have the Nintendo Switch, we have um, Zelda and the Mario games. So clearly you guys can can uh, send those shits in. So I have no fucking idea what the fuck's going on right now. But it's fucking South Park. So you know this shit's going to be funny as shit, man. So he just throws some fucking confetti out his ass? What the fuck? <laughs> oh man, I wish I would have got get back into South Park in this bitch, man. So anyway, I used to love South Park. I'm not gonna lie. I used to watch that shit all the time on TV, and I forgot at one point that I stopped watching it. I, I don't want to say I grew up, but at some point I stopped watching the shit, and and not that I regret it, but at the time that I was watching it, it was kind of getting kind of stale. You know, it, I, I watched it from the very, very fucking beginning, and, and it was hilarious watching it from the very beginning. But obviously, over time, your your taste in TV changed. The the time you have to watch TV changes, and I think it was around the time that um I was spending more time out than watching television. I uh, there was one period, you know, you're going out every fucking night, and you're getting home at like midnight and shit. Even on a fucking Wednesday when the shit was on, I was still getting home late as fuck, and I was before the whole DVR in this motherfucker. I have no fucking idea what the fuck's going on in the background, so I'm sure that there, 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 there's logic behind this shit, and I didn't fucking pay attention. <laughs> Whatever, man. So anyway, when I watched the shit, you know, I, I used to enjoy watching it, and I, I can't remember when it started sort of getting stale after a while. You know, I felt like there was a there was a period very early in South Park where it just started of maybe like within like the fourth or fifth season or so. Yeah, maybe... I'm going to say, like, maybe season six or seven, it started getting a little plain. Now, obviously, it's lasted all these years, and, and it gets better and better with all the shit that comes out and all the current events that they're able to throw in this motherfucker and all the satire that they're able to use from real life. So they, so they really took this show, ran with this motherfucker, and became the most offensive show you can possibly have. <laughs> I mean, they took a playbook right out of The Simpsons, except they're able to do things a lot more risque on Comedy Central, so that that, that the, the Simpsons are not able to do on regular TV, but clearly the, the guys who created this, they know what the fuck they're doing when it comes to satire and comedy. Because it's not easy to make offensive comedy and last this fucking long. Now, I still have no fucking idea what the hell's going on in the background. Because <laughs> the problem is that since I talk, right, I'm doing my commentary... I don't really hear too much of what's going on in the background. So if there's any kind of like storyline or some shit that's happening in the background, don't tell me you're going to beat up Kyle's mom now. Yeah, kick Kyle's mom in the ass or some shit. <laughs> the, oh, look at this shit. Look, they're going to beat her ass up. Yeah, they're going to beat her ass. You know, you know what's funny? It's very hard to explain South Park without saying some offensive shit. I don't give a fuck who you are. You could be the most skilled human being on the planet trying to explain South Park to somebody. <laughs> it's damn near fucking impossible. So imagine trying to explain this shit that like, oh, Cartman wants to beat up Kyle's mom because she's Jewish and he calls her a Jew mom all the time, right? Imagine trying to tell somebody that shit. They'd be like, huh? What? What, what the fuck? <laughs> It's not fucking easy. So that's what you're trying to explain, trying to have to tell people this is how to do shit. It's just not fucking easy to try to explain this crap to someone. So I, I, I don't fucking know why they're beating her ass up, but I don't even know how the fuck it works. I see the cards on the bottom, so the, it must have something to do with the goddamn car. I don't know. I stopped fucking paying attention to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, once you have South Park, man, you don't need a story anymore. You just need the satire. Does that shit say psycho slaps? <laughs> oh, motherfucker, she's just beating this shit up. You see, I should have got this fucking game. This probably has more content than Destiny. That's probably the best way to describe this shit. So I, I don't even know what the fuck's going on. This, <laughs> now, we're get, now we're getting backstory of shit that I don't know. 
this is this is like old school Final Fantasy turn by turn fighting. I, I think that's what they're making fun of right now. Anyone who played old school Final Fantasy, not the new shit. The new shit obviously is entertaining, but old school Final Fantasy, they they had some funny shit back in the day. You know the whole turn by turn fighting, fire, lightning, and all that other shit. And this dude, the bite sized taco just let out the fucking fart from hell. Look at that shit. <laughs> That's his attack. It's a fucking fart. Jersey slide. She's from Jersey. I didn't even know she's from Jersey. Yeah, they have the 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 turn by turns on the bottom of who to fight. Look at that shit. This this, this is fucking insane. And a bite sized taco's there just waiting his turn. The new kid. That's what he's called. Triple burn, plasma beam. I don't even know what the fuck. Do you, you got to get these cards in the game or some shit? But I don't know what the fuck that was. We just fucked up all everybody in this game. Fucks this guy. Insulin shock. Really? Super Craig. They <laughs> Shining hate finger? What the fuck? What what else you got on you? You, you get a bit dirty Sanchez somewhere? <laughs> oh, this fucking game, man. I, I, I swear, I, I know when when critics see this shit. They go crazy about how offensive it is, and this is not the kind of shit that kids should be playing. Fuck out of here. This is the exact kind of shit that kids should be playing. You know why? Because people take shit too goddamn seriously. That's why. At least with South Park, it's offensive to everybody. It's not just offensive to just one person. There's Dreidel of Vengeance. <laughs> oh, man. This fucking game. No, but you know, it, it's not that it's offensive to just Jewish people. It's not just offensive to Mexicans, to black people. They go after everybody. They don't give a fuck. They don't care who you are. And that's the good point of satire. Good satire is when it can make fun of every single group. Not just one group. Not just white people. Not just black people. Not just Asians. Not, hey, look, you have a fucking handicapped kid in there, and they throw that shit in there, and they make shit hilarious. They had a fucking pile of shit all those years ago. What was that pile of shit in the fucking... The Christmas pile of shit. What was his name? Fuck, I forgot his goddamn name. The, the, the little singing turd. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I know people who watch South Park know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. How the fuck did anybody come up with a fucking singing piece of shit and they make that into a goddamn TV show? You know what I'm talking about? South Park does satire right. When you, when you see, like, these YouTube channels that want to do, like, shock comedy. You, you know the assholes that I'm talking about. Fucking Nazi pie with all his stupid shit. You have that asshole showing a fucking uh, suicide in a Japanese forest, and somehow that asshole's still making videos. He, he should have been fucking taken off of YouTube from the start. They should have been like, you know what? Fuck out of here. <laughs> what a stupid shit. But no, but you get the point. All these people, they want to do, like, shock value. They want to be able to create something that's offensive but funny. Basically, they're trying to copy the model that South Park has done. They're trying to copy the model that The Simpsons did before that. They're trying to copy the model that all the comedians from all the past did before them, between George Carlin, Richard Pryor. You know, shock comedy has its creative value when you do it right, when you do the satire right. The problem that you have is that when people don't do it right, then they get fucking offended. South Park says, you know what, fuck it, we're just going to offend everybody. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fartcore, what the fuck? Is his name Fartcore? I don't even know. I, I, I don't even know the fuck that was. I didn't pay attention. All I know is that shit was fucking funny as hell that they took some old school Final Fantasy moves in this bitch. <laughs> Anyways, as I mentioned, there's still a request over on the Prestige Gamers website for those of you who are interested in sending in your games. Go over there. I think there's a couple games that still haven't received any videos, so you guys can send those in. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit, and I'll see you guys in the next video.